Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a, I guess, montage of all the diamond paintings I finished in 2020. Diamond painting was my quarantine hobby, so... And I just discovered it in 2020. My first one was in May. So yeah, I ended up doing a lot. So, so here is my first one. Um, I got this on Amazon and I completed it on May 2. And it's, I, I went and put it on some stretch canvas. I'm not sure if I like doing that, but it was my first one and I like to play around with it. And it was also the one where I found out, yeah, size does matter, but you know, you learn. So yeah, this was from Amazon. Um, my second one is actually my least favorite one. Um, I also got this on Amazon. Um, I'm not a big fan of how it turned out. Um, yeah, I don't know, but yeah. So then this was also what I tested sealing on and well, it didn't work out that well. Like, I don't know if you can tell that you could see it. The sealer did not end up clear so I'm not using that anymore so that's that was the triple thick I don't know if I just put too much on it um the deco art triple thick I don't know if I just put too much on it but there it is um so this was also from Amazon so my third one is actually much bigger um I did frame it so okay here it is let me move it up and I guess you'll see my reflection um, but yeah, this is my third diamond painting. So after I got my Amazon ones, I did order like a whole bunch from AliExpress and then, yeah, they never showed up. Well, they showed up eventually, but months, more than a month later. So I, I was like, I couldn't wait. So i got this from Dreamer Designs. This is Never Saw Golden Gate. It was my first square. So yeah, the other two, I went from like, 30 by 40 and 25 by 25 and this one is a 40 by 50 so this is my third diamond painting my first square and I I really like it I um dreamer designs does get some bad reviews from people but I mean there were a few blurry symbols but not enough that I'm just like trashing the company so yeah so this was my third diamond painting and yeah, it was 40 by 50. And the reason I got this is I used to, I'm, I used to live in the San Francisco Bay Area. So this is more of a nostalgic kind of picture. So yeah, there's my third picture. Okay, next one is also framed. Okay, the framed ones are harder to, to pile. So here is my fourth diamond painting, also from Dreamer Designs. It's um, Round Valley Aspen. So everything I got on Dreamer Designs was on their clearance sales or clearance section. So this was both that and the Golden Gate one was $28 when I bought it. So yeah, this one, I really love this one too. It, hence it's framed. Um, what's it called? Sure, now that I look at it, I'm like, man, I could have placed those diamonds better but you know this was my fourth diamond painting and my second square so yeah i finished that one on may 25 so the first four i finished all in may <laughs> so yeah that's how fast and i guess you know when you were in, in what's it called lockdown you just had nothing else to do than diamond paint so yeah that's my my may diamond paintings okay okay so my next one I did was an Amazon diamond painting. So this one I got from Art Dot. It was a four pack. Um, if you've seen a couple of my um, videos, I have done a couple Art Dot kitting ups and completions. So this was my first four pack. Man, I really was bad at placing the drills back then. <laughs> It's kind of funny how you see it now, but yeah, this was my fifth uh, um, diamond painting. It's a 25 by 35 from Art Dot on Amazon. Um, let's see, my fourth, or wait, what are we on? My sixth diamond painting. This is from Fan Cells. Um, so 
I talked about doing a, a bunch of um, a, um, AliExpress orders and it took over a month or two to get to me. Fan cells, for some reason, the, when I order from them, I get it in like less than three weeks. So this is my first time in painting from fan cells. Um, I do really like Harry Potter and, I, and you could see I do, I do like the Van Gogh style, but this needs to be bigger. Like you can't even tell. These are supposed to be the them on the boats on on the way to Hogwarts, but it it looks you can kind of tell what things are from far away. But yeah, that's my first one from Fan Cells, and then my seventh diamond painting is another one from Dreamer Designs. So I did Corgi Nights. Um, so yeah, my first order from Dreamer Designs was the three that you've seen so far. I think mainly I I just wanted the free shipping so I didn't want so that's why I bought three so that I could get the free shipping but yeah now this one this one I plan to give to my sister because she does have two corgis and I thought it was appropriate so yeah here's another 40 by 50 from Dreamer Designs um okay we're still in Jul June um so my next one is Another one of those from Art Dot. This is the wolf picture. Yeah, so 25 by 35, very easy. Um, it's a good one for beginners. So my ninth picture is this one I got from Fan Cells. Um, it's a 23 by 33. So yeah, I didn't have any issues with this one, so. I think it's pretty. And then my 10th diamond painting and my last one for June. So <laughs> I did six in June. Yeah. Um, is the lion, the lion from the art dot four pack. I actually, this is the, actually the last one I did of the four pack. I still have one more. I still haven't done, but yeah, uh, so by this time, other diamond paintings have started coming, so that's why I maybe didn't do the fourth one. <laughs> so now we're getting into July, so... So my first one in July is actually this diamond painting. Um, I, I got this from Fan Cells. I did not know it was going to be a partial. So I was kind of disappointed there, but eh, it is what it is. I wasn't about to go make a big fuss because I probably just didn't notice the word partial in the description. But if you are buying from fan sales and things like that, one, make sure you know what size you're getting, and two, um, read description because it's not very obvious, but eh, it's okay. Man, my, fit, my pile is getting big. Okay, so my next one was actually a five panel. So is it all on screen? Hey, yeah, I think so. Maybe I just need to bring it up a little bit. There you go. It's a five panel. Um, this is currently in my art portfolio and that's why it's like on these two sheets of paper. So at the time of me completing this, technically, I think this was my largest diamond painting. So um, yeah, I think I ended up working on like one panel at a time. So I probably was working on this while I was doing those other diamond paintings that you saw in June. Um, yeah, no, I started that one in June, but I didn't finish it until um, July. So that's my... What are I on? The 12th diamond painting I finished. Okay. Whew. This is a workout, man. Okay. So what am I on? Number 13. Okay. So number 13 is actually this diamond painting, but I kind of put them on two, on two different diamond paintings. So this is actually diamond painting number 13. And this one is diamond painting number 17 for me. So this one, um, diamond painting 13. That is my first diamond painting from AliExpress. It was 
So it was a square from Huacan and I had zero problems with it. I actually am, was surprised how well it turned out for considering this was only a 20 by 25. And this one here is my first square from Home Fun. And this one was a 20 by 30. So, um, what's the call? When I bought these, I was anticipating that these would be my first square diamond paintings, you know, to practice. I thought smaller, it should be easier. No, this, these were much harder than, you know, you would think just because they were both so very confetti heavy. So this would not have been good as a beginner diamond painting for a, a square. But by the time I got to these, I had already done the, the all the squares from um, Dreamer Designs, the 340 by 50. So I think I wasn't that intimidated anymore. Okay. So my next one, where am I at? Um, okay, the next one is a framed one. So my next one is this one. Um, it's just framed because um, I had it up for Christmas. Um, I've already taken it down, but I'm not replacing what's in it until I know what I'm going to put in it. So this one was another one from AliExpress. It was a 30 by 30 from my Mia Audu. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, no, this one was a nice, fun one um, to do. So my next one is these pink tulips. Oops. Um, I got from Tin Me Arts on Amazon. So I bought these from Tin Me Arts on Amazon. If you buy from Tin Me Arts on, on what's it called? AliExpress, they are actually a little bit cheaper. So, um, but I got this on Amazon, but it did ship from China. So it took way longer than normal Amazon purchases. But yeah, here is the pink. This is one of my favorites. I think I'm going to put this up during spring, like April or something. So yeah, that's my, what do you call that? What am I on? Yeah. I have, I have like, I have my spreadsheet printed out just so that I could keep track of what I'm talking about. So yeah, I finished this on 718, 2020 is my 15th diamond painting. Okay, number 16 is just a quick one. It's just this mandala. Um, I, I do these mainly for, you know, you know, the decompress from doing bigger diamond paintings and they have pretty different kinds of drills on there. So yeah, I, I recommend doing partials like in between your large diamond paintings, just because sometimes you just need some, you need to win, like you need something finished and look pretty at the end. Okay. So yeah, those were all my July finishes. So now we're going on to August finishes. Well, my first August finish was that home fund that you saw with my, um, what's it called? The, the home fund, the trees with the, with the circles. So my 18th finish is another one of these. Um, it is another 20 by 25. Um, I ordered actually five of them and I'm just doing them when I feel like doing them. So I still have three more that I haven't done, but yeah, no, these were, these were fun and they actually turned out pretty good considering the size I thought. So my 19th diamond painting. So we're on 19 now. <laughs> this was my 19th diamond painting. So. There you go. So this one is another one from AliExpress. It's another square from um, DPF Factory. It's a 40 by 50. Um, I really do like how this turned out. I think if I, if I have wall space, I am going to put it up during probably the summer. This probably is more of a summer picture just because it's a beach scene, but yeah, no, this one's awesome. Okay, what are we on? Number 20. So 
here is number 20. Um, so after finishing this one, I actually decided to open an Instagram account for my diamond paintings. So yeah, this one is when I was like, man, maybe I should be sharing my pictures with other people other than just sharing it with like, I don't, I don't have an Instagram account otherwise. So I was like, so this was my, let's make an Instagram account picture. <laughs> so yeah, this is my starry night. Um, from this was an AliExpress. It's not the clearest. I think like I've seen one from Diamond Dots that has like much more definition on the pictures because I think Diamond Dots must like hand chart or something. But otherwise, I think this still turned out very awesome. I did run out of colors on this one. So but otherwise, eh, can you even tell I ran out of colors? I replaced them with similar colors. So there you go. So my, what are we on? 21. 21th picture I actually don't have with me physically. Um, it's at my work and it's this one. I have it framed and it's hosted at my work. Um, I framed this on a stretch canvas. I actually recorded that framing on the stretch canvas on this YouTube channel. So if you, if I remember to link it, I might link it, but otherwise, um, if you look up my, in my framing video playlist, it's in there. So I framed this on a stretch canvas and it's hanging in my um, office cubicle right now. So my 21st diamond painting, or no wait, that was the So my 22nd diamond painting is actually this cat picture. Um, so this was my first drills and chills, um, what's it called, diamond painting that I did. Um, I completed that one in, yeah, that's my first September one also. So everything before that was completed um, before September. So this was my first September one. Um, this was my, this was an, it's another um, AliExpress um, diamond painting. I got this from AZQSD. So that's my 21st diamond painting. And then this one is a special shaped, or it's not a special shape, but it's rhinestone partial. I got this from GBFKE. This was actually my 27th finish, um, but I ended up putting them both in here because this is what I put in my art portfolio. So yeah, this one is from GBFKE. Okay. Let's see, where am I on now? I'm... Okay, so my next one is, not sure if you'll be able to see it all. Ooh, will I be able to put this this way? Nope, not really. But yeah, this is um, a 30 by 60 that I got from AZQSD. Um, I had plans for this to go on my wall. I are like, I know exactly where I wanted to put this on my wall. I just decided not to really just because, um, I'm not sure if you could kind of tell, but there's just, there's like a weird, like pattern in the background here that, um, I didn't end up liking. And I mean, if, if I thought of it, while I was done and painting it, I should have done, like changed myself what was on there, but I just don't like the, I mean, it's fine to have multiple shades together as long as they kind of blend in together. But when they're like, they're too different, the, the shading doesn't end up working. So yeah, no, this is, did not end up going on my wall, but it's pretty nonetheless. Um, so yeah, that was my, what's it called? Where am I on? That was my 23rd finish. Okay, so my next one is this diamond painting I got from, that one is, I got from Mian um, on AliExpress. It's a 30 by 40. Um, it was actually my first square from Mian but I'm not sure if I like Mian for their squares just because there was a little bit more gapping than I like, but 
in the whole scope of things, I've had worse squares. So if you're going to get the squares from me and it's not, they're not horrible, but I think I'm just going to stick to rounds for me. And, but yeah, no, I really like this picture. Um, it was just some random picture. I think it was just on sale. So I got this for under like $5 and that's why I ended up getting it. But I think it turned out actually pretty awesome considering it's only a 30 by 40. But yeah, no, that's my, that's like another drills and chills thing I did still. So my next one is this diamond painting. Um, I got this from Home Fun. It's a um, 40 by 50 um, square. So most of my diamond paintings from AliExpress, I do get square if I have the choice. Um, but yeah, no, this one, this one I think is really, really beautiful. I ended up framing this during the fall. I took it out of the frame when it was no longer fall, but, and replaced it with a Christmas picture. But yeah, no, this one I thought turned out really, really beautiful. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't know. Where were we? Where were we? Okay. So my 26 finish is this one um yeah i was testing out like using like some metallic um masking tape or is it masking tape no no duct tape as a frame um i didn't really like how this turned out so that's why i tested on this one um just because i mean from this from the screen this actually looks pretty good but in person it's a lot more pixelated than i like but um, this was another one that I did during the fall. So this one is from DPF factory and AliExpress and it's a 40 by 50. So yeah, that's my 26th finish. My 27th finish is actually the GBFKE flower, the warped sunflower that I already showed. So my 28th picture is this one. Um, this is from Tin Me Arts. I actually got this from Tin Me Arts on AliExpress and it's a 30 by 45 round. Um, Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Alex, I wasn't talking to you. Uh, okay. Um, this was... Sorry for that interruption. Okay, so yeah, this is... I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, this is a 30 by 45 from um, Tin Me Arts on... AliExpress, this is also actually one of my, I really liked how this turned out. Um, and, oh, this round also. And I had it framed up during the fall season. I'm not sure if it's a fall picture, but the colors are very fall-like to me. So that's why I had it up during the fall. Okay, so uh, my, my next one is this one. Um, these are from, this is from fan cells. This is actually my first square that I got from fan cells. And I don't think I'm going to do more squares from fan cells just because they're, like I said, I don't, I'm not a big fan of gapping and I'm actually contemplating whether squares are worth it because right now, because I think gapping actually looks really, really ugly and you don't notice the gapping in round so much. So yeah, I'm pondering whether to stop doing so many squares, but, but yeah, no, this one was from fan cells. Um, it's a 25 by 35 and it's, it's fine. Okay. My next one is also from fan cells. Um, it's this Winnie the Pooh with like falling leaves around it. This one was really, really cute. This, you know, sometimes you just have to do the cute fun pictures. So yeah, this is another 25 by 35 from Fan Cells. So those are all my September finishes and I finished one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Apparently I finished nine diamond paintings in September. Um, yeah, I don't know how I turned through those. I mean, most of them were small. I mean, I did two 40 by 50s, but yeah. Most of, but yeah, here is my, what am I on? This is actually my 30th diamond painting. Yay. Okay. So now we're getting into October. Um, so 
This was my first October diamond painting. Um, I got this from Fansils also, and it's another 25 by 35 round. And yeah, um, there it is. So now, finish number 32. Okay, let's see what's finish number 32. Oh, it's, it's at my workplace, so that's why I was trying to look for it. But, oh, sorry. So there it is I'm on my phone that is currently at my workplace. It's a, it's a mandala from Fansels. And um, I, I featured this on my ceiling video. So you could see if you go and look for my ceiling video, you could see it there. So yeah, no, this one was really, really beautiful. So. And then my next one is... This diamond painting, I got this on Amazon. It was part of a four pack from Saner Direct. Um, and it was like a four season four pack. Um, I did do, did I do a post review on this? I don't remember, um, but I don't think I did. Um, but yeah, no, this one I thought for, considering this is a 25 by 35, I actually thought this turned out awesome. So yeah. Okay, my next one. Okay, so this is my next one. I think this is the first diamond painting I did a review on, a post review on, um, a completion review on, on my YouTube channel. So I don't know if I recommend you watching it because I don't think I did really good YouTube videos or I don't even know if I still do good YouTube videos, but this was my first diamond painting that I did a review on, on my YouTube channel. So that, that's why this holds some nice like specialness to me but this is really really cute i during the diamond painting i didn't really enjoy it because the, the drills were not the best quality but you know you just really more care about how it turned out right although you kind of want the journey to be good too all right so that is my 34th diamond painting okay so number 35 is this one um this is my second four pack from art dot um and i think i ended up choosing to do this just because after doing all those fall diamond paintings and then i was going to start doing some christmas diamond paintings i just wanted something completely outside of fall and christmas and super colorful so yeah this was my you know getting ready to stop doing fall and then going into doing Christmas diamond paintings. I just needed something in the middle. But yeah, no, this one is super, super cute. Okay. Um, so what's my next one? Oh, no, the next one is framed. Okay. So yeah, this one is from Dreamer Designs. Um, it's one of their free just pay for shipping diamond paintings. And I think it turned out actually absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, so since my top, my snowman picture, all of these should have a post review um, on my channel. So if you go look through my completion playlist, they should all, I should have like my complete review when I remembered everything. Cause you know, after a while you forget what happened, right? So yeah, no, this one is I think absolutely beautiful. So my next one that I finished is actually this one. It's an um, LED um, diamond painting. It's my first LED diamond painting. I don't know if I'm going to do another one just because I don't know if I think the extra price was worth it. But yeah, no, this is an LED diamond painting. I feel like I have to turn it on just so that because it, it has the LED. So there you go. Um, um, let's see. So this was actually the first diamond painting I, well, I don't know if it's the first one, but it was the first one I caught, I like did it on purpose, purpose, um, that I substituted um, the drills for the, what's it called? The lights with rhinestones. So this is when I started like being like, okay, 
I, I have I have enough leftovers of these special things that I could actually start enhancing them. So once you do a couple of the mandalas and any of the ones with rhinestones, you end up having ones to replace with. So um, I think I'm going to continue doing that because it actually makes it seem like it's more mine. So yeah, this is what number are we on? Ah. This is my 37th diamond painting. Okay. Okay, what? 37, 38. Okay. So 38 is probably one of my smallest diamond paintings I have done. It's a 15 by 20. Um, I bought this from Mian. It's another square. Um, I think I just bought a bunch of 15 by 20s um, just so that I could get... If you ever buy anything on AliExpress, they have all those coupons, you know, where you're like, you get a dollar or two dollars off if you get to some place. I think I ended up adding this to my cart just, and it was actually cheaper than if I didn't add it to my cart just because you get the two dollars off or whatever. But yeah, um, or you know, the one where you buy five and you get 5% off. But yeah, no, I just put this in my cart just so that I could get to a certain threshold. But I did end up using this when I went to get my car. Um, what's it called? Maintenance, because it's small and I was able to just do this while waiting for it. And yeah, I thought that turned out nice. Okay. Um, this is my next diamond painting. It's another one from Stainer Direct on Amazon. It's the winter of my four season pack. I did not like how this turned out as much as the fall one. And if you watch my post review, I probably ranted about how much I did like how it turned out. Okay. So, let's see. Oh, okay, so wait. The, the, the last, this diamond painting is actually the first one I did in November. The ones right before that were all October. So, yeah. So now we're in November. Uh, okay. So... My next one, I actually don't have either, but it was in, it was featured in this channel. Let me see if I could find my picture for it. Um, my completed picture. So it's currently hanging at my work. Um, it's this diamond painting. Um, I did do a completion review and a framing of this diamond painting and it's currently hanging at my work and I feel like I'm gonna hang it at my work until at least winter is done so it'll probably be there until March so yeah that one at the time that was a 50 by 70 from AZQSD and that was the biggest diamond painting I had done at that time and yeah that's the biggest diamond painting I had done at that time so my next one my Oh, so yeah, that cottage was my 40th diamond painting. So yeah, I've done a lot. Um, so my next one is this diamond painting. Um, if you watched any of my other videos, I have pretty much done this whole like hitting up um, framing videos on this channel. So yeah, this is my, what's my 41st diamond painting is from Star Roar on Amazon. And what's it called? It was also my first diamond painting that had rhinestones, ABs, and regular drills. This was around and it was from Amazon. It's actually one of my first diamond paintings I ordered, but I just didn't get, and I had it kitted up since like July. I just never got around to doing it because I got other things to do. So yeah, no, this one, um, you'll watch my post review. Okay. Let's see, my next one, it's another framed one. So all these later ones are kind of fr almost framed because, you know, this is what I plan to do. I actually plan to frame my diamond paintings and take them out when it's not the right season. So yeah, this is my 42nd diamond painting. I finished this uh, in November 21. Um, I got this from AliExpress from DPF Factory, and I actually thought this actually turned out pretty beautiful considering um, if I were to go back, I don't know if I would go bigger just because I don't have any place to put my bigger, bigger diamond paintings, but it probably would have helped to be bigger, but 
with 40 by 50, I actually think it turned out okay. Okay, my next one, what are we on? 42, 43, 43. So this is my 43rd diamond painting. Um, it was part of a four pack from Art Dot on Amazon. Um, it came with the the one with the cats in the shoe that it was in this four pack, but since this one was winter with the penguins um, and the polar bear over here, um, I thought it was appropriate to do for my Christmas diamond paintings. So yeah, that's my 43rd diamond painting. Okay, my 44th diamond painting is actually this diamond painting. Um, this was actually the diamond painting. I got this on from YHLD and AliExpress and it's 40 by 50. This is actually the diamond painting I the completed that had the most colors, at least at the point of me completing that. It had 51 colors. I have I have so far have not had that many colors on any diamond painting that I had done. So yeah, considering it was a 40 by 50 with 51 colors, this one was hard. I am just telling you that is this one took me so long to do and I kind of didn't like how it turned out. So it took out, it took a lot for me to finish this, but I did, I finished it. So yeah. Okay, 45. So my 45th completed diamond painting is this one. Yeah, I don't know. So this one from Tin Me Arts. Um, I have all the completions, the kidding up, the kidding down, the framing on my YouTube channel. And this one is actually like, this one, I just went through it so quickly just because the colors were so beautiful. Like, I don't know if other people do this, but sometimes I choose my diamond paintings not based off of the picture, but based off of colors. And this one was just so, so beautiful. Sorry about all the glare on these framed ones, but I really can't help it. Okay, so my next one. Oh, so this was my first December finish, um, even though I don't think I put the post-completion review of this until January, but I think I wanted all my Christmas post reviews to be in December, so I moved this all the way back to January. So my next one that I finished in December is this one. This one so far is like my absolute favorite diamond painting that I have completed. Um, it's just super, super beautiful. Like. I didn't think it would be this beautiful. I actually had no plans to actually diamond paint this this year because I bought this during um, the AliExpress 1111 sale. So I did not think it would even get to me in time to do for Christmas this year, but I finished this on December 12th. So plenty of time for it to still be on Christmas. And I am planning to leave this out <laughs> until like February or something, just because it is so beautiful. Um, and if I consider it a winter scene, then putting it out till February or March doesn't seem so bad, right? Um, but yeah, no, this one was so absolutely beautiful. Like this was also one of my bigger diamond paintings at 50 by 70 and it's round. But yeah, no, I got this from Joy Autumn and yeah, no, I just really, really love this picture. Like, yeah, no, this was, it's, I, it, I just couldn't stop doing it. And that's why I think I finished it so quickly because it was just so beautiful. And I also did enhancements on this one where I changed the windows to rhinestones too. So yeah, no, this is like, I'm beginning to do the whole like, make my, the diamond painting your own kind of thing. So yeah, no, this one, I think this is my favorite diamond painting so far of everything that I have done. Okay. So my next one is this one. I finished this on 12-16. Um, you might have only just, the completion re review only posted sometime in January, but yeah, no, um, what's it called? This is actually my first full crystal rhinestone diamond painting. Um, I think in my post review, which I did almost immediately after I finished this, I said how much I, 
wasn't sure if I liked the crystal diamond paintings, but I think after reflecting a little bit longer, I do kind of like it. So I might look for more crystal diamond paintings in the future if I would get off of my no buy. But um, yeah, no, this one I thought is absolutely beautiful. Um, it was such fun to work on just because it's rhinestones like in like close up look really, really beautiful. I'm still I was just con concerned whether it still had as much detail as if it wasn't a rhinestone one. And it doesn't convey on the screen very well, but in person, it's actually very, very beautiful. So we're getting almost done. So next one is this one. This was actually what I was trying to do for the DP advent calendar. I just, if you watch my post review, you'll see that I don't enjoy diamond painting that way where you split it up into little pieces, but, um, I think, oh, this was from AliExpress, who can, and I, this was actually my freebie that I won on, who, on on AliExpress, so this cost me one cent. But I think, considering this is only a 30 by 40, it turned out awesome. Okay, so, okay, my 49th finish is actually my biggest finish. I don't know if it's gonna be on the screen, but yeah, it's, this peacock diamond painting, it's a 50 by 90. Yeah, you got the whole thing. It's a 50 by 90. Um, I actually, this was actually one of my first diamond paintings that I bought. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I had to do a peacock because what diamond painting collection is not complete without a peacock, but yeah, no. Um, I actually started doing this back in July and I, I think I got up to here and then I just stopped. I don't know why I, I finished this, this whole section here and then I just stopped because I think other diamond paintings started coming in and then suddenly I'm doing my fall pictures and then I'm doing my Christmas pictures and then, yeah. And then you just stopped it for some reason. So that one, I actually just, finished that on December 21. So um, I don't even think the post review of this is posted yet. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, this is the biggest diamond painting I have done. It's a 50 by 90. And even if it is the biggest diamond painting that I've done, it only had like 19 colors and 20 if you count these, but do you really count them? Um, so yeah, so even though it was massive, it actually was one of the easier diamond paintings I've did just because of the smallness of it. And it's actually very beautiful and very sparkly. So yeah, this is my largest diamond painting so far. Okay, we're getting to the whole stretch. Not many left. Okay, so that peacock was number 49. So this is number 50. Um, move this back down. Um, this is number 50. This is from Home Fun on AliExpress. It's a 30 by 30. And yeah, this is a very common picture. I think I was just looking to do some small ones before the end of the year. Um, so yeah, this one was real quick. So yeah. And this was diamond painting number 51. Um, it's just this mandala. It's actually a very, very beautiful mandala. Um, I haven't, I don't even think I've even posted the post review of this one, but that will be up at some point. So yeah, um, I think that I just wanted something really quick to do. So my last one that I finished in 2020 is this one. It's actually my first Diamond Art Club. It's, uh, on, it was one of those free, just pay for shippings. Um, I'll just let you watch my post review about what I thought about this, but yeah, this was the end of my 2020 diamond paintings. I completed 52 of them. I am actually exhausted making this video. So um, I hope you enjoyed, and I don't know if I'm gonna do this many in 2021 because I'm planning to go bigger. Well, I'm planning to do more big ones as opposed to all these 30 by 40s because but don't expect that many big ones because I plan not to go big 
unless I plan to put on my wall. But yeah, oh, I'm tired. Well, thank you for watching. And if you have reached the, this far into my video, thank you very much and happy diamond painting. And we'll see what I end up doing in 2021. Bye.